Good morning, good morning, good morning. I am so happy to be here. And I want to thank MDRT for inviting me to share with you. I'm looking around this room. Many of you I know, and many of you I haven't met. But you know what? It doesn't matter. We're all family. We're all connected by the good work that we do. We are connected by our ability to serve people, to make their lives better, to help them sleep peacefully and look forward with hope. We do that every day. And we are here because we do it well. But that's not why I'm standing up here on this stage in front of all of you. I didn't say yes to this invitation just so I could be another hand patting you on the back saying, job well done. You already know that. I'm here to remind you of some things you might have forgotten. You see, when you're good at what you do, it's easy to forget about everything except closing, competing, or coming out on top at the end of the year. But that's not all there is. We are more than our numbers. We live on more than paychecks and pats on the back. We are stronger and longer lasting than any trophy we might put on the mantle or hang on the wall. We have to be. If we are not, what happens when the conference is over and we go home where the only peer is facing us in the mirror? Who are we when nobody is saying, at a girl or at a boy? I've been doing this for 47 years now, and I'm good at it. But there have been some very deep valleys between those high points. If I didn't have something more than feeling good about myself to stand on, I might have quit a long time ago. I might have quit when they fired me my first week on the job. After they found out I didn't have a car or a home phone. When somebody says you're fired, that's a pretty good reason to quit, wouldn't you say? But if I had listened to that guy, I wouldn't have been Rookie of the Year. I could have quit 20 years ago when I was on low sales probation and my manager said I was finished. That was the year before I won my first of 12 number one trophies. 10 years ago, somebody said I should retire because, well, that's what you do when you're in your 60s. I tried it for two whole days. <laughs> it didn't stick. I didn't because I knew I was made for this. That belief put me here and it keeps me here. What keeps you here? What gets you out of bed and put a smile on your face and keep you up? even when your numbers are down. What do you remember when you forget what it feels like to win? What is the source of your joy? My wife, Miss Carol, my best friend and the most beautiful person I know. She did something for me early in my career that put so much of my life in perspective. I came home from work one day to find that she had hung a map of the world above our bed. This is the dream, she said. We had prayed and asked God to enlarge our territory. She put the map there to remind us of it. 
We had red pens to mark the places we had traveled to and blue pens for places we wanted to see. I looked at that map every morning when I woke up and every night before I went to bed. Fast forward, a couple of years ago, our grandchildren, who weren't even born then, gave us a new map for Christmas. Same box of red pens to mark where we've been, same box of blue pens to mark where we hope to go. We ran out of red pens and didn't need the blue pens. Miss Carol, my amazing bride, taught me how to focus on what matters. The work, even being good at it, was not the goal. It was a way to get to the goal. I went to work excited about my future and excited about helping people focus on theirs. Harriet Tubman said, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember, you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars and change the world. This is who we are. What we do and why is one perfect, perfect declaration, isn't it? We're dream weavers, making big tomorrows out of today's uncertainties and sometimes even yesterday's mistakes. Yes, we are changing the world, one family at a time. But that's not what I came to talk about. I am here to do for you what my wife did for me. As you put tomorrow together for others, are you remembering to stoke the fires in your own belly? Every great dream begins with a dreamer. Are you still dreaming? Is there something out there for you to reach for? Or are you just trying to manage what you have? It's easy to do, it's easy when you're struggling or even you're good to decide that good enough is good enough. But we weren't designed for that. We were created to hope to live with purpose and on purpose. We were born with passion in our hearts for a reason. Every choice we make or takes us closer to further away from who we're designed to be. Will Durant said, we what we repeatedly do. King Solomon said it another way. He said, as a man thinking in his heart, so is he. In other words, what we believe, we become. Are you believing in something beyond today? Are you reaching for it and working for it? After almost 50 years in this business, the question I get asked more than any other is how do you stay so happy? I think all my life I had a map on the wall something to look forward to, to reach for, or run after. I've always been a dreamer. I've never been without a dream, a reason to smile, even when my life was hard. My passion have always been greater than my pain. I walk four miles to catch the bus to work and four miles to get home because that was the dream of providing for a happy wife and two healthy baby girls. I still get joy out of finding new ways to make my wife happy. But my baby girls have babies of their own now, and their babies have driver's license. So I have new dreams. I want them to live with purpose and then on purpose, to have passion and plans, not just one or the other. I also dream of mentees making MDRT and sharing what I know with agents all over the world. I dream of making a difference and lighting a path for others to follow. 
If you're just closing cases, there's more for you to do. If you're only seeing prospects and not people, there is more for you to know. If you just care about making money and don't realize or care that you're also making a difference, there is more for you to be. You, 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 you. You are not just showing up for work. You are showing up because people need you. But you also got to show up for yourself. Be present in your own life. If you're not willing to do that, how can you ask your clients to commit to doing it? <laughs> Take it with you into your office. Communicate it to your team. Recently, Fast Company magazine picked more than 200 top businesses and cultural leaders to speak at, at their innovation festival in New York. They talked about everything from technology to space travel to criminal justice to meditation. The one thing they all talked about was finding purpose in your work. Scientists say meaningful work engages you that they are more committed to doing whatever it takes to become successful when they know that their work means something to others. A recent study found that people who believe their work has meaning are more likely to work at their peak potential. They lead more satisfying lives and they have richer relationships. When I see a mother or a father exhale because they know their kids are going to college, I see my daughters. When I know a church won't lose its place of worship because I help the pastors or the elders board put some safeguards in place, I feel blessed to be a blessing. When a son or a daughter can take care of their sick or aging parents without fear of losing everything, I'm reminded that helping people plan for tomorrow is the kindest, most caring thing we can do for others. Look around this room. Some of you see competition. People want to be better than next year. That's fine. But we are more than what we do for a living. Look at the person on either side of you and tell them, dream. Tell them, dream big. Be your brother and your sister keeper, not just their competition. Dream with them and for them. If we all become better at what we do, it will be because the world around us is better. Pearl S. Buck said, to find, work, to find joy in work is to discover the fountain of youth. I will be 74 years old in a couple of months. And I have to agree. If you are good at what you do, you can do it for a long time. But if you have a dream or two or a passion for something bigger than yourself, I think you can do it forever. The sky is the limit. I think I'd like to try that. What about you? If you believe that, stand on your feet. If you believe that, if you believe that you have a light and you are going to let it shine, then, then reach for the stars. Touch the world. Change the world. You can do it if you have a dream, if you have a passion. I, oh, that's not the song I want to sing. This little light of mine, let it shine. Oh, 
this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. Let it, let it, let it shine. Thank you. Don't go away, just stick with us for another minute. You know, last two and a half hours, 31 of your fellow MDR team members have shared ideas that have helped them become more productive and better advisors. Did you notice how many takeaways there were? If you were keeping count, there were 157 this morning. These individuals represent what's unique about MDRT. How many other organizations do you know where members share the keys to their success with each other? Join me in thanking them before we leave the day. Come on back. Saul, would you come back for a second? Thank you. Oh. oh. Will you take us home? Please. Come on, take us yeah. home. Come on, be my choir. Because we all have a light, so we got to do it together to change the world, to reach for the stars. Are you ready to do it? All right. Yeah. This little light of mine. This little light. Do. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. In my country. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, in my country. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna let it shine. What about in your home? <laughs> I'm gonna let it shine. Break it home now. Let it shine. Let it shine. <clears throat> MDRT, I love you. I love you. That concludes this morning's program. Meet two of this morning's speakers in the Speaker's Corner in the MDRT store immediately following main platform.